Hey ladies and gents, it's Zen back and we are doing Iconic Planes World War II and this is the HE-111, uh, the Heinkel 111, the H-2 version actually, and you're probably wondering, what the fuck, Sam, you're playing a bomber, right? You know, you don't see me do this, this is actually the first bomber I've ever actually did a re review or gameplay with or any of that kind of stuff, because I just don't play bombers. So I'm literally, so don't laugh while I'm playing the game, I am literally a bomber noob, I'm, I have bombers too, I just don't play them. Um, a lot, if ever. Uh, I played a couple games with this the other day when I first bought it. I've always wanted this plane probably because it is literally the, right up there with the BF 109 uh, as one of those planes that you see in the old black and white reels of of World War II. Um, yeah, it, it was everywhere. It fought in all, uh, most of the battles, uh, the Germans, all over the uh, Eastern Front. Um, it fought uh, Africa, if, yeah, it fought everywhere uh, uh, on, in the Luftwaffe. Um, so yeah, an interesting airplane. I've always wanted, like I said, I've always wanted the airplane. Uh, finally, they've uh, offered it up for sale. Uh, it is a Tier 4 uh, bomber. So yeah, it's Tier 4, right? However, um, still a fun plane to play, and we're just going to go through the history of this plane. Um, so uh, Treaty of Versailles did not allow Germany to build bombers. So they got around it by developing, um, at the time, uh, transport planes. Um, so this was the fastest transport plane when it was initially built. It first flew in 1935. Um, Heinkel developed, I believe, there was something like 2,000 man hours to, to come up with this design. And honestly, it's one of the prettiest planes, uh, in my opinion, especially with that glazed over nose the way it is. It's very streamlined. It's got that uh, elliptical goal wing on it um so yeah it's it it's a very 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 pretty planes and i remember i remember watching a lot of the old newsreels uh during the battle of britain you know this is the bomber that you saw this was the most dependable bomber um uh the germans had at the start of the war you it was like I said used everywhere uh this is the h2 model uh, one of the the big difference i guess is, is this is a full uh loadout of defensive armament uh specifically uh, these two side guns uh was what really gives us the difference uh, between the rest of the H models is the uh, with the H2 is these two 7.92 machine guns um, this thing was used I, I mean literally the number of variants of this aircraft this was the multi-tool uh, of the Luftwaffe for uh, I mean it was used from reconnaissance bombing transportation paratroopers uh, there's pictures of this thing carrying v1 bombs um, uh, you know, the, the the number of variants ranged from A to Z. The Z version was, of course, a double fuselage. Um, there was two of these put together. It had five engines. Uh, it was this was going to be used for everything from tug to uh, long-range bomber. Um, yeah, so, so the variance is staggering. Um, everything that they needed, everything they wanted, it was like the multi-tool. They, they, they put... Uh, external bomb racks on it uh, like I said with reconnaissance uh, this was I do believe one of the first uh, if not the first plane to fire a anti-ship missile um, they used a uh, wire guided uh, anti-ship missile to uh, sink uh, allied ships uh, this is one of the aircraft they used uh, in that process um, so yeah very very varied history um, wartime use uh, by about 1943, this aircraft was <coughs> obviously uh, extremely outdated, uh, and it went from being a, a medium bomber to being used just as a uh, troop transport uh, and, w and whatever else they needed it uh, for. It um, could carry about 4,000 pounds of bombs, uh, roughly. Uh, one of its biggest problems, I guess, is it was that its defensive armor was sort of weak. Uh, so you see a lot of these variants, um, some of the H models, uh, have everything from added more added weapons to uh, added armor. Uh, of course, that costs them for bomb carrying cap capabilities, that kind of stuff. Uh, but so they tried a little bit of everything. The great thing about the aircraft, with its um, versatility, uh, you know, they built roughly not quite six thousand of these of these aircraft. Uh, the pilots loved it. Uh, it was an extremely stable aircraft. Uh, had very good low speed maneuverability um, yeah it just did the job it, it, it was I shouldn't say you know it was damn near 
perfect, really, for what they were trying to do with it. Um, uh, it, it was a definite, uh, um, like I said, obviously, it never was going to be a war winner, uh, but it, it could do everything it was asked of. Uh, so, yeah, very interesting aircraft. Um, it was built uh, after the war by a Spanish company called CASA. Uh, they, they continued to build these under a license, uh, and I do believe they used it all the way up to about 1958. Uh, and there was still a version of this f aircraft flying, I believe, until 1974, uh, using, ironically, Merlin engines uh, from Spitfires. Um, so yeah, this thing was still chugging around. Some of these versions were still, you know, still flying around in 1974. Um, actual wartime use, like you said, it was used, you know, as a bomber transport. Um, uh, most of the footage you see uh, during the Battle of Britain is, is, is you see these aircraft. Uh, coming over the uh, uh, British coast, uh, making their bomber runs and whatnot. Uh, you know, so it's, <laughs> like I said, iconic plane. So I'm going to bring up, um, yeah, so let's look at the upgrades on this aircraft. Uh, we have the Jumo 211A3, uh, the H2 airframe, and of course, one front turret, 7.92, 7.92 for the top. Side turrets are two, point, or two 7.92s. Bottom turret is set two 7.92s. And there's 32 50 kilogram bombs. Um, and I'll be honest with you, the 7.92s at tier four are probably all right. Uh, unfortunately, you know they're not the. They're just. They're just. There's a lot of them, but 7.92s take a long time to kill anything, especially heavy fighters, which is about the only thing that really wants to mess with this thing. Um, you know, you, you're talking three thousand, three meter, thousand meters plus for its uh, top end. Um, you know, uh, height-wise, uh, I do believe there's a couple part of the video where I actually hit the red line with it. Um, the perfect bombing, probably perfect bombing altitude I've seen so far with it is that between that 1,500 and 2,000 meters, that's perfect. That's perfect, but doesn't do actually much of any good. This is a tier four. Most of the defense fighters that you run in are tier five, specifically bow fighters, the heavy fighters on those, which just completely rip these things apart. Um, so if you get down around that that height, you're just going to get fucked. Uh, I spend most of my time at least 2,200 meters plus. Uh, nice boost on it. It is a little bit slow. Uh, the bomber loads around a minute plus. Um, you know, and I'd have a really crappy crew in it. I'll be honest. Uh, like I said this is. I just bought it. Just threw a, the crew in into it. I'm still trying to figure out all the little nuances of bombing. So I'll get it if you guys make fun of me. That's all right. Uh, it, it, it's one of those things. Um, with the with the um, 32 plus bombs, I believe. <coughs> yeah, 32 plus bombs. Uh, it does not, you know, it, it works well against the uh, soft targets, not so well against the hard targets. Uh, that long reload. Um, you know, I'm playing tonight. Uh, I jumped in tonight, played uh, three games with it. Uh, and this is the bomber escort mission. So I got a little bit more time over targets. Regular World of Warplanes games. Um, sometimes you struggle to even get to the third or fourth bomb load uh, before the game's over with. Uh, with this game mode, though, it allows you a little bit more time to fly around uh, and actually do some uh, bombing. Uh, that's one thing. Uh, otherwise, like I said, a tier four, it's kind of one of those. Eh. Uh, when it's top tier, of course, it's it's excellent. Tier five, yeah. There's so many things that can kill you. It's not even funny, uh, and you really don't have that devastating bomb load. Um, you know, to just absolutely wipe uh, um, an objective by yourself. You know, it usually takes a second pass. Uh, of course, unless you get lucky. Um, at least in the configuration I got, uh, unless I until I get my skills up. Um, you know, and what kind of like that stuff uh, before I'm really going to be able to to really maybe notice the difference in the uh, play style. But for the most part, like I said, um, not a bomber pilot, uh, but we'll make it work. So I'm gonna bring up the couple gameplay for you guys to check this plane out. Uh, like I said, iconic as you can get uh, for World War II. And I just, I, I still, one of my favorite planes to look at. It is such a, um, you know, it just looks right. You know, the the shape, uh, aerodynamics, and all that kind of stuff. So I'll bring up the gameplay for you guys uh, to check out. All right, guys, we are back with the first game in the HE 111. And uh, I played three games tonight. And the last game I played, I ended up fucking disconnecting, like, twice and every time I come back in I would be 
uh, crashed. So that one didn't turn out. These two games I did play were actually not too bad. One was a win, one was a loss. wasn't too bad. Like I said, um, 2,000 meters plus, try to get up there. Uh, you know, it's got a decent boost. Uh, it's not the fastest thing in the world, by no means. Um, rather slow. Most of the time you're pushing right around that 300 kilometer minus. Uh, not the best in the world. Um, however, with this game mode, it does let you stay up a little bit longer uh, compared to, um, you know, some of the other ones here. So I'm already starting to get smashed here by the SE. Um, he's interested. Is he coming around behind me? Uh, we're going to shoot at him a little bit here. Uh, yeah, didn't work out so hot for him. So, dropping my first set of bombs. There's... Oh, apparently my bug is working on this one too. Lovely. So, dropped all my bombs. Uh, there's two, four sets of eight. Uh, and now I'm trying to get out of here. I'm boosting out of this area here. I'm jigging, jagging, all that kind of stuff. I'm trying to get a little bit more altitude. I really didn't like when they made that uh, relatively close pass on me here. So I, I lost half my HP. Um, yeah, about 2,475 on my uh, personal points on that pass here. So we're going to wait for our bomber or our, uh, reload. Uh, like I said, about a minute to reload. So it takes a little bit of time. Good thing this is relatively slow. Uh, so the most time you guys are, uh, most time you're already uh, loaded by the time you get there. So we'll pull back around here uh, and we're going to get ready to take another pass here at uh, this objective here. I'm at 2600 meters uh, and for the most part eh, it's still fairly accurate here. We've picked up the um, they've already destroyed our bomber group here uh, so there's no point in making trying to make another pass here. I got one more bomber group coming here uh, to the uh, next fortification I guess you want to call it. Um, most of the time I've been focusing on anything that has AA obviously uh, trying to knock out the AA groups uh, before the bombers get over there uh, kind of helps a little bit here so I've already lined up my next set of targets here and we got um, yeah let's see what we can do here in this pass uh, first set of bombs are away um, apparently this is still kicking it out the nose <laughs> all right uh, whatever uh, so we're gonna drop another set here pick up another yes uh, 500 or so uh, one more out of the deal I usually, like I said, I'm always looking when I line up on these. Picked up five ground targets, destroyed over those two targets here. Um, it's trying to make sure I line it up so I don't have to do a lot of weaving and wagging uh, to get on target. Um, yeah, it's always best to have at least mo four targets kind of lined up uh, when I'm doing this. Obviously, like I said, I am not a bomber pilot. I'm down to 28 health here, so I'm going to kind of loiter out here a little ways away from the, the red baddies here uh, as I build up. Um, my health again uh, back to at least 164 I believe uh, before we get carried away here so we've already yeah it's going to be an interesting uh, they've already shot down on my bomber group um, as I'm not like I said I'm not, I'm not I'm not shooting down any enemy pilots so about all I can do is hope to God uh, my um, blue team uh, and fighters can do something here. So I almost got my bombs rebuilt um, and I'm getting close to being uh, what health I can get out of it here. 168, 170, 171. They've knocked that out here. Uh, so now I'm looking for, ah, there we go. Spawned right over top or relatively close here with bombs loaded. Um, and we're going to line up our next run uh, on this um, 30 seconds until it's up and ready to go. New breakthrough attempted. So we got two flights passing through uh, this bomber or this fortification over here so that's gonna be my first target um, like I said kind of just dicking around here trying to get my health built up as much as I can uh, before I make a swing um, to this objective here so eight seconds seven seconds bombs are built I have my targets picked here uh, and ready to drop so one second yep targets are up and now the front is restored. It is time to do some bombing here. Like I said, I'm always looking for the AAs. I don't know if it actually matters or not, uh, but knocking out the AA guns uh, with these passes. Dropped two sets, three sets, one more. Picked up a, um, one of those uh, 
ships with A's on them. Drop another set here, and I'm still losing health here, so I'm trying to get out of here. Still at 330 uh, kilometers an hour, and I'm at about 2,800 meters. I've had my best success uh, with at 3,000 meters. I've tried the low-level bombing with these things; it just doesn't work. Uh, anything below 2,000 meters, you're you're pretty much dead meat, um, either from the the red the red baddies uh, or the defense pilots or the defense aircraft in the regular. Um, staying up this 2,500 plus seems to work here. So, put a little bit of damage in there. Not a whole lot. That's the problem with bombing at this altitude. Uh, it doesn't always mean you're going to successfully hit anything. I've yeah. <coughs> Zemba's becoming a bomber pilot slowly but surely. <laughs> I, I can't even say that with a straight face, guys. Come on. So, um, reloaded bombs here shortly. It's three seconds on the bombs. Uh, and we're going to make another pass here uh, at this objective. Um, what damage I did has already been returned back. Uh, however, the bomber formation is just showing up now. Uh, so, like I said, I'm looking to knock out any more AAs that I can find. Uh, which is usually those ships. There's the first ship is right in front of me. Let's see if we can knock out that um, ship. Oh, there we go. Highlighted, dropped, and we're looking for the next set of AAs. Uh, there we go. We've got a whole line of them uh, lined up here. Uh, hopefully they'll do a little bit more damage this time instead of the lack, last lackluster attempt that I tried. Yeah, apparently I'm hitting some. Pitting up 7,000 person points. 10 ground targets destroyed. Grade 5 bomber. At least I'm not totally worthless in this bombing thing. Um, however, the other teams <coughs> are, yeah, uh, they're doing a pretty bang up job here. I do believe the BF-110 with 7,800 is a bot. How how would I know this? Because I'm just psychic, I guess. So I'll be honest with you. Like I said, I don't play bombers. I probably have less than 20 bomber games before I started playing this game. So, um, this is boring. <laughs> I tell you what, uh, I'll hats off to you bomber pilots that could play these things for more than, a, you know, two flights, because I couldn't do it. I would literally, my, my freaking uh, ADD would just go right through the wall. There's just absolutely no way uh, I could play this thing uh, for that long. So, back around we come line up the next set of targets here. My bombs are reloaded um, and looking for, uh, like I said, trying to stay on the AA things as much as I can. Like I said, I'm not terribly sure if it's really um, I'm making that much of a difference when I shoot, when I when I drop bombs on AA, but hey, you know what? I've got, I got to try, right? So, like I said, lined up a nice set of targets here, four in a row. I do believe three of them were AAs and one of them wasn't. However, I'll take what I can. Uh, I did hopefully Try to got it. I tried to get it off as before I died, um, but I did do a nice uh, bombing run there. Put me up for 10k for the personal points, uh, and down I go here. Um, so we got a P38F. Uh, what's he shooting at here? Uh, he's trying his damnedest. He's got an enemy on his tail. Wing blown to shit. He's overheated. No, he never finished off. Unfortunately, I didn't got get the last set of bombs off here. So kind of like, ooh, shit. So, um, going in with just a single set of bombs. Now we're going to drop all those and see if we can get a reload here. Um, unfortunately, we knocked out the last stronghold, but we have yet to get a single bomber flight through. Uh, blast breakthrough attempt here. So, I'm going to have to uh, reload bombs, which is fine because I have 20 some 26 seconds here before I can even bomb. Unfortunately, my reload is that long at 40 seconds here. So I'm going to stay out here on the periphery. Uh, I'm unfortunately a little bit low. Um, there's, we got one blind um F below us here, Joshua. He doesn't seem to be interested in me. So we're going to loiter here until we're ready to uh, make that bombing run. I'm kind of always a little worried that there's a human pilot in a BF-110. However, he didn't seem to be terribly interested in me. Go figure, I'm just a dumb bomber pilot. I get it. I get it, fellas. You guys don't like bombers. <laughs> so, uh, let's wait here. We're, we got her finally reloaded. Four seconds left. For the most part, I enjoyed this aircraft. I won't lie to you uh, for being a bomber. However, like I said, iconic plane that it is. Oh, such a pretty plane. Um, we're going to make our bombing run here. 
uh, on our next target looking here. Looking for AA mounts. Drop another set. And like I said, good to low speed for maneuverability. Uh, I'm able to do that. Drop another set there. And I'm out. Let's see if we can get the ship. Yep, picked up the ship as we left. Uh, and now I'm out of the way because here comes our incoming um, bomber flight. Uh, unfortunately, with three bomber flights up, we still somehow were an, an, unable to make a single bomber flight through. Uh, probably because the reserve of reinforcement aircraft depleted. Yay! Uh, and the other team is just totally whooping our ass. See, we still have. I still have a BF-109. The bot is. The <laughs> he's at 10,000. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Um, however, the other team seems to have nothing but uh, ridiculously good players. And I'm in a bomber. Um, it's a sad night for Zambellas. It really was. Uh, however, like I said, of the three games I played, uh, this was my only loss. The other two I actually won, even though the one I didn't actually play uh, because I kept uh, disconnecting and crashing into shit uh, and coming back and going, oh, that's what the inside of a mountain looks like. Lovely. So, here we go. Uh, reloaded shortly. There we are. Let's see if we pick up the AA here. <coughs> Maybe I can knock out a maybe I can knock out a fighter or two if I get lucky. All right, so we've got this turn back. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Uh, there goes my chance of being the hero uh, and able to knock this thing completely out here. Pick up the Thunder Award, whatever that is. Uh, pick up the Grade Three bomber here, and we'll probably get 14k on this pass. I hope. Um, duck diving, dodging, boosting, trying to get out of the uh, AA. We picked off. We knocked this out. Uh, before the bombers got there um, we got three bombers that way and those guys are almost out look, look at them go look at them go we could possibly get one bomber flight through is it possible uh, no that one's dead and I do believe the other one is a long ways from getting away however the center one right here the one that we are escorting uh, and I'm currently on my way to oh they've knocked that one out too um, 23 seconds here uh, ready to pick up on the uh, Yeah, see this is the problem with the a camera angles uh, Anytime I try to get out of that de into the default mode uh, I get that so um, What are you gonna do right so let's pull back over here And we're gonna line up for our next set of AA targets here. Come on. Oh There we go um, like I said, I'm targeting just the AAs or anything that shows an AA mount. Uh, hopefully knocking those out will assist my bombers to get through. Uh, for the most part, it has been working worth the shit. Uh, just because um, they've been shooting the bombers down before they get to the actual fortification. So, drop another set of bombs. Uh, we are not looking too handily. There is, in fact, only four of us left. So, boosting up here. Come on, 15,000 for the personal points. Um, and there's a lot of red baddies down there. They've destroyed the last bomber. There's not enough bombers to even remain to achieve the objective here. Now to just destroy the intercepting group here. Uh, there's three of us left. Uh, no, there's two of us left. One is an I-16. Uh, All right, ladies and gents, back with the last game in the HE1. <laughs> Excuse me, HE-111, H-2, um, Tier 4 Premium Bomber, so, so pretty, up we go, uh, kind of weak, like I said, uh, even under boost and a shallow climb, not the easiest to get up um, to altitude, you lose speed relatively quick here, but we're going to see if we can get up to 2,000 meters here uh, before shit hits the fan. Uh, looks to be a one, two, three, four, five on five human. Always like that, right? And we're flying for the first objective here, and we're gonna see how this how this rolls. Now um, we got one straight ahead, uh, and I should have probably gone to that one just because the bomber is closer. However, there seems to be more. Uh, of a fight rolling here coming in 
Uh, first set of bombs, like I said, looking for those AAs. Uh, see if we can knock those out. Uh, I'm a little lower than I was in the last game here, so let's see if my accuracy increases a little bit. Um, there we go. Another set. There. Can we make a third? And we'll see if we, like I said, low speed maneuverability is nice to get over those targets. However, it's not going to do me any good here because I have a incoming BF-110 C6. Uh, and we're going to look at the, uh, the actual defensive fire of this aircraft. Uh, I'm boosting hard. I uh, try to get away from him as fast as I can. I'm actually a little bit quicker than he is at altitude. Uh, unfortunately, now he's at my altitude. Uh, and with those guns in this in that uh, big 30, uh, he's able to finish me off. And, oh, don't, don't, uh, just, yeah. It just took a, just took a uh, bam. So we got Viper 528 here in the Spitfire 1A. And he seems to be doing quite well. Finishes Alf Ralph, the P-43. And I spawn back in. We've already destroyed that stronghold. Uh, and we got the one here. Um, I was able, I was, like I said, I was glad. You always want to make sure you dump those bombs if you're going to get destroyed. Uh, you know, otherwise uh, you're going to come back in with a one set of bombs. You're going to end up having to drop them anyway. So, um, lining up my next set of targets here. And usually I'm looking right through my bomb sites as I do this. I could be wrong. Uh, just to make sure I can line up a nice set of four targets uh, with this bomb grouping. Um, got up to 2,200 meters here. Uh, screw that. Uh, anything lower than that anymore. Um, and we're going to line up here our set of targets here. Coming in. Uh, I usually boost as I go toward it here. I'm just kind of impatient. Uh, there's one. There's the first AA mount. Um, right there. And we're over target. Start dropping bombs. And for some reason, now they're dropping out of the bottom. Oh, look at the bomb bay open. Uh, apparently the first one. I swear the bucked up freaking some of their crap they pull. Uh, but yeah, like I said, with the low speed maneuverability of this thing, you can pull some of that back and forth crap uh, to get back on target here. So we picked up two ground targets and 3,700. Uh, 30, almost 4,000 for my uh, personal points. Uh, now I'm duck diving, dodging. Uh, trying to save as much HP as I can uh, from that rather um, dubious AAs, right? Uh, it's amazing how accurate those guys are. Must be Russian. Uh, I'll just say it, yeah, straight up Russian. <laughs> Sitting at about 4K from my personal points. Uh, we're going to have to come back through here uh, and see if we can make another one. So we're sitting at about 24 seconds for my reload. You know, that, that was one problem I had with this aircraft when I was playing that I didn't want to do play on these other ones, uh, is that rather long reload um, in the other games, uh, other game modes, which are relatively quick. Some of them um, can be over very fast. So, five seconds from my reload here. I'm just reloaded as I'm getting ready to come in on this plane or on this target here. Uh, perfect. Come in just when they're ready. And, of course... Uh, the one really crappy thing about this. <laughs> Every time I'm getting ready to shoot or bomb something, um, nothing. Yeah. Nothing there to even drop bombs on. So, general idea. Yep, here they come. So that puts me in almost perfect position once again. Um, switch over here. We're going to line back up again. Um, I did finally see what I was going to bomb here, so I'm moving around. Uh, so I get that nice clean uh, bombing pass where I don't have to move a whole lot. That's always a little bit easier. 23 seconds here before I can start. So we're waiting here. 19 seconds. New breakthrough here. I do have my bombs up and ready. Uh, so we're going to loiter outside of the red. Otherwise I'm going to take flak the whole time. Uh, and and you, you don't want that, right? Nobody wants that. Uh, usually, typically they seem to be about four AAs uh, on these fortifications here. So, two, one, and I'm just about ready in position uh, to come in here. So, I got two lined up right off the bat. And actually, I think there's three uh, with the fourth off to the left a little bit here. So, they're ready to bomb. There's the first set of bombs. Oh, there's the second set of bombs. Nope. We're going to do that one. Uh, and then we're going to drop on this one, this that AA, and the AA as we leave. Um, yeah. So, nice set, nice, nice bombing. Uh, pattern maybe no I don't know I don't know anything about bombing patterns I just pushed a button I hit the little key 
Uh, and away we go. 6,000 <laughs> personal points so far. Um, and I'm really not having to worry a whole lot because these guys are relatively kicking these guys' ass. Uh, I'm just along for the uh, enjoyment, the nice flying weather. Um, uh, I still don't get a bomber pilots. I, <laughs> this, this, this is just... Uh, this is hard. This is this is hard uh, to, to to wait this long uh, to do something. So, background we go, and we're gonna come in again. Um, relatively, pretty much the same path I took last time because I didn't finish off those targets. Uh, so we're gonna see if we can do a little better job this time uh, and finish off the last of the ground targets that I had. Uh, my reload is done. So yep, here we go. Uh, we'll try. We'll try to follow the exact same path as I did last time, because uh, most of them are pretty well heavily damaged. And here we go. There's the first AA. There he is. And there's. I think there was one right there. Yeah, that one was pretty well damaged. Here we'll knock some choppers out of bombs on that, and we'll finish off with those. And as we go out, the last AA mount. There we go. Picked up another ground target destroyed. Uh, last of my bombs are off here. Uh, picked up the grade 5 fighter or bomber and we're just starting to reach the red line here this is what I was talking about earlier uh, with the red line on this aircraft uh, is to be seems to be right around that 3300 meters maybe a little bit more 3400 meters um, boosting up here uh, to give you an idea I got up to size like yeah let's see how I can go right so 3400 meters well what is it I thought I was about 3400 meters there we go. 34.26. 20 uh, is roughly about where we hit the red uh, for the altitude on this thing here. Um, so now we've got that uh, coming back in here. The bombers are already over that formation or over that. So it's not going to be doing me any good to waste my bombs on that. Uh, it's time to head to the next uh, spot here. Obviously bombing at this altitude, my accuracy is not that great. Uh, once again, screw, crew skills come into play here. Uh, they're not the best, uh, being that this was a brand new crew when I started. Um, yeah, come in, drop my first set on those AAs. Uh, I mean, I like the number of bombs. I mean, you're, you're talking, you know, eight per drop, uh, but they are rather small. So uh, picking on that lightly armored targets are the best way to go, uh, or even knocking out AAs uh, seem to be the best way. Anything with medium or above uh, seems to be a kind of a drag. Pick up the Thunder pick up 10 um, ground targets here uh, and now we're gonna weave wobble dodge my way out of uh, the flak you know it's like that uh, you know 15 seconds of excitement and then the rest of it's just kind of uh. so we've knocked that out put me up to uh, about 10,000 on my personal points and we're coming back around um, and see what we can do here 3200 meters um, and I, I've tried the low altitude bombing. The 1500 to 2000 is, is the way to get the most accurate bombing, of course. Uh, they seem to be that, but, but it's just, uh, since the aircraft you're flying against on the defense fighters are usually tier five, uh, it just doesn't work. Um, you know, both fighters just wrecked your shit. Uh, and if you're not above 2500 meters, uh, they were, they will eat you at that lower level. Uh, since you do have a rather large number of guns. Um, but they're 7.92s. They just don't. Uh, they just don't do it. Now I do believe uh, it's the H models um, is where we started seeing the uh, lower pod there with guns on it. Uh, in fact, some of the E models uh, actually had the didn't have the no the glassed over uh, front nose. Uh, it had a more traditional. Um, more of a Junkers look uh, so it didn't have the nice rounded look uh, it, it was much more um, squarish uh, with the cockpit sitting on top uh, so these late model I shouldn't say late model H models uh, you started seeing more of the um, what became more iconic I guess uh, remember these aircraft was flew 1935 so by the time the World War II started uh, you saw a significant number of changes in this aircraft here. So I've already dropped um, two sets. There's my third set here. We're flying out about 2,900 meters. Uh, I'm just getting fucked. 
Uh, I'm dropping my last set out into no man's land because I'm not turning around to go back into that. Uh, I need to get out of here and build some health back up uh, without dying here. We're at 33 hit points. Come on. 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 Slowly but surely. Yes, we are out. I'm boosting all the time to get out of this crap. Um, the wing is operational. Yeah, here we go. So I'm at 10 hit points. I finally got out of the, all the uh, bombers or the AAs. Uh, and now I'm just going to hang out till my, um, some of my, uh, health returns and my bombs reload. Yeah, there we go. So we picked up the, uh, about 12,000 on the personal points and we're going to come back around here and see if we can pick up this next objective here. Uh, I'm in front of my bomber flight, so maybe I can knock out a few AAs, uh, to help them get through here. 115 for the health. I'm not sure if I can make it through there with that much. Uh, however, we're going to try it at 3,000 meters. Got the big holes in the wing, of course. And here we go. So now, kind of interesting, the first replay, we're still shooting the bombs out the front. Uh, hopefully that changes this. Um, waiting for the objective to start here, which is going to be in a matter of a few seconds here. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're going to get our last shots. We're going to get our bombing run lined up here. And we're good to go. So, coming in. Dropping my first set. Like I said, always looking for the AA. And about that time, game over. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, and hope you guys enjoyed the replay.